that's been uh, pretty much my salvation in life. And I've been in a lot of bands um, and with varying degrees of success and varying degrees of ability. And, uh, um, I just love to play. I love to play guitar. I love to sing. I love to write songs. Uh, it's my favorite thing on earth to do. And probably other planets as well. I got to play at a cafe in upstate New York where Bob Dylan had played on his first American tour. Actually, when we were talking to G Love last week, he had said he played there as well. Um, you know, I played in bands that have opened for, you know, Tommy James and the Cherry Pop and Daddies and stuff like that. And uh, I got to meet Rozelle, who's uh, the beatbox guru for The Roots, who I just found to be unbelievably talented. He's just about my favorite person to see live because he's just absolutely amazing what he can do with his voice. and early 70s where, I don't know, I was like 10 years old, the age of like 10 to 13, I listened to the Who's Tommy like every day, and Quadrophenia, and I listened to like Schoolboys in Disgrace, and you know, even now, like Radiohead, that whole Orwellian Kid A, Amnesiac thing, and stuff like that. So I was always trying to raid an album with a uh, cohesive theme. I guess I'm still trying to do that. I have the basis of it down, but eventually I change it. I guess I used to think I was actually raiding, raiding about a character that like, wasn't me, but I think it was, and I guess it still kind of is. So hopefully I'll have that done at some point, but right now, at this point in my life, I'm just trying to finish my first album. I started recording a few years ago in New York, you know, I'm just trying uh, the whole play to the starving artist thing, you know, just being able to afford to get it done, that's the biggest thing. Just trying to get it done. Oh, I guess I've been around music my whole life. Uh, since I was like a little, little baby. My mom and dad were uh, 
musicians. And, you know, I spent my formative years uh, surrounded by music and just totally immersed in it. But I had decided a few years ago that I wanted to uh, just play music and that I wouldn't be happy in my life unless I did. I grew up with a really wide array of influences. Uh, my, you know, early years, of course, were really flavored by my parents and you know all the albums that they had. I really into the Beatles and into the Birds and you know so a lot of '60s British Invasion stuff like the Kinks and the, a little bit of the Stones. I was, uh, more my dad was more the rock guy. My mom was really into jazz. She really influenced me, or got me. My mom really got me into like Gershwin and like big band and swing and stuff like that. But when I was little, I listened to a lot of Beatles music. And uh, my first album I owned was uh, Grover Sings the Blues. But uh, my first real album that I owned was uh, Men at Work's Business as Usual.